at this point, um, this patient is simulating the same patient that we brought, uh, that we collected and brought to the helicopter. Now he's in a higher level of care. He should have most of the same injuries that he had before. They're going to find some more injuries. For some of these guys, it's going to be the first time they see anything like this because they're not medical guys at all. So the medic and I will be kind of geeking out on medicine stuff, and we'll be trying to teach some of these non-medicine folks a little bit of what we're doing. We need to ask Erotomy here. His compliance isn't good, and he's uh, not moving a lot of air right now. Okay. His, he feels really tense in his So chest. explain to me how you're going to do that. <sighs> going to clean the area with betadine. Then we're going to go with either a scalpel and cut anterior axillary line from just below the clavicle all the way down to the costal margins okay. and see if that affects, do that bilaterally. If his okay. breathing gets better, uh, we're going to roll with that, but we might have to go one across the diaphragm. Okay. We're going to go until we see the uh, subcutaneous fat and the skin is going to separate due to the pressure. One thing I've had to learn as a doc in a leadership role is that it's not my training, I'm leading the training, and these guys are the ones who are reaping all the benefits. You guys not being medical people, this was a whole, this was a high level medical, medical things going on, okay? So we were trying to walk through it with you. Mainly we wanted you guys to just be exposed to it. And um, you know, in the future, worst case scenario, who knows, you might find yourself having to help out in this kind of setting, so. At least now you've been through it once. Uh, I know this was the first for a lot of you guys, so thanks a lot for coming out. Um, and Nick, I know you definitely got a lot out of this. Um, so um, good job, good work. I'm proud of you guys. Appreciate you. Thanks, Thanks, sir. Cool.